Right, regular users of smartphones would rather leave their wallets at home than their phones, so how can we combine the two? Here now to tell us more is our technical expert, Paul Brisbane. Paul, is this called contactless payment? Is that what it's called? That's the thing. Exactly. So um, uh, you'll also hear phrases like near field communications, NFC. Uh, this all refers to the technology that goes into the phones to make them into wallets, basically. So you can carry around your credit card, your FPOS, all that kind of thing uh, inside the phone itself. That's pretty clever, isn't it? Well, it's pretty good. It's, uh, it means you, you don't have to worry about the, uh, the wallet with all the cards. And if you look at the new uh, credit cards, you'll see there's a little chip on them. Uh, and uh, this is exactly the same as the chip that goes into your cell phone. So the phone companies have started to work with the banking organisations and, and various different billing organisations to figure out, well, why don't we just use the phone as your credit card or as your, your loyalty card? Well, personally, I, you know, I'm, a, I'm a fan of it because I yeah, don't yeah. like carrying around thick wallets and cash. That's right. So for me, the ultimate yeah. would be to have my driving licence on there, yep. cards, everything. Absolutely. What about security, though? Well, that's the real key issue here. So um, security is the big, big issue. Uh, if, you, if you don't have a good, secure, robust system, uh, you can forget it because nobody will trust it. So uh, there's a bit of um, divergence on how that should be done. Google is going down the path of putting in an extra chip this NFC chip, which means that it'll only work if it's within millimeters of the device that's reading it uh, and you're holding onto it. You know, you, you can put in your number, you've put in your security, whatever, on the phone itself. Uh, and they, that's the way they're going. App, no, we'll just have a software approach. Uh, it's all done through an app. Uh, there's no need for this chip whatsoever. We'll just use it as a kind of a text message thing. And, you know, to be honest, that's, uh, that's the cheap and cheerful way. Uh, uh, Vodafone in Kenya has changed the entire uh, economy of Kenya, literally, using a service called M-Pesa, which does exactly that. You can, you, you can transact all your business using text messages, in effect. And it's revolutionized the economy over there. Is it instant? So does it instantly take it from your bank <coughs> account, and, or do you get a bill? No, no, it's, it's, it's instant. It goes straight onto your account. So if you've got a prepay account, you've got $50 on there and you buy a coffee for $4, mm -hmm. it's, it comes off almost, right, almost straight away. What I mean is, so the banks aren't linked to this yet? No, not I can't yeah, say, yeah, look, I have a for your services today, Bing. You can do that already. Yeah. You can do that today using Facebook. Uh, ASB, for instance, has an app that lets you, um, you can pay me just about anything you wanted, Rod, if you felt the need to at any <laughs> stage of the day. Hey, Paul. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that later You're on. We'll show you how. Man. We'll, <laughs> we'll work that out later on. But uh, this is more for um, those one-off um, transactions, not between people who know each other in a trusted environment, but between you and a shop. Uh, you and a bus, you and a uh, uh, going into the movies, for instant, instance. And uh, the thing that I really like about it, I had a bit of a play with one a while ago, is that it, it is literally instant. So instead of swiping your FPOS card, typing in your numbers, and then sitting waiting while it dials up and connects and all of that, it's, it's within uh, milliseconds. I mean, I just fantastic. keep thinking security, security, security. Mm. But when you say, you know, oh, no, I've, got, I've got a phone, a smartphone, I have to put in my PIN number yep. in order to operate the phone. I also have a tracking device on it, so if it goes missing anywhere, it, yeah, I can check where it is right. from my computer. So it's probably safer than, than cards. Well, you it? think about your credit card. You're in a restaurant, you hand your credit card over to some pimply They don't even look at the uh, signature. They don't look at the yeah. signature. They wander off with your credit card. In the US, there's a big issue with uh, them swiping it through other terminals and then through your restaurant terminal bringing it back, you'll find that your card's being used all over the planet for all oh, kinds of things. Okay. That's a real issue. This does away with that. You never let go of your credit card because it's your phone. You hold on to it. They never touch it. You just tap it to the Look, terminal. the closest I've come to this is, is, is a boarding pass for a domestic mm. flight, and using a flight. That's right. And you don't have to get the boarding pass. You just go bing and And that's, that's lovely, isn't it? That is brilliant. So transportation-wise, like yeah. what else are we doing? Because I've heard a lot in the news about... Uh, Wellington has rolled something out, Snapper yep. payment system Snapper's has worked, there. Auckland are having troubles with it. Can you explain yeah, that yeah. to us? So Snapper is uh, a Wellington based company. They're uh, one of the fastest growing companies in New Zealand. I've brought along one of their FPOS terminals here just to show you an FPOS terminal because nobody's ever seen those before. <laughs> uh, and, and they are rolling this out uh, on the buses. You can use um, you can use it for buying coffee in and around Wellington. Uh, and they've worked with Two Degrees to provide capability to do it from your phone instead of having to buy one of those cards that you would normally buy. Anybody who's been to London or Hong Kong has seen the transport cards, the uh, Octopus or the, uh, the similar cards to that kind of thing. Uh, this will work through your phone instead. So they've started, do started doing that. Uh, there's some uh, kerfuffle with Auckland Transport and uh, apparently they're not going ahead with the project up here. Uh, I imagine Auckland buses are completely different to Wellington buses need a whole different infrastructure but you know that's that's probably for uh, more expensive folk than me to worry about so they're going to get to the bottom of all that soon well they need to really they, 
can't do that. And, and if I'm in Wellington, I'd like to use the same technology yep. there. Yeah, so it's already being used in the taxis in Wellington. So why can't I just jump in a taxi and swipe my phone against a terminal and yes. say thanks very much and, and jump out? You know, that's the world we're moving to. That's really what they've got to do. Kiwis love this kind of thing. Anyway, you know, we were the first in the world to really embrace FPOS. I remember coming from New Zealand to yes. the States going into a bar trying to buy a drink and waving my FPOS card around and the, the man laughed at me, he didn't know what to do. And on the wall of the restaurant was a booth, uh, a series of uh, ATM machines and you had to pick the right ATM machine to put your card in to get the cash out because otherwise it wouldn't work. It was just ridiculous. We're much cleaner than that. Are we, are we ahead of this then? Are we going to be oh, one I of the first so. countries where yeah, we will yeah. be able to use this technology? Absolutely. I think New Zealanders love it. You know, we're, uh, if, we, if we get in behind a, a proposal like Snapper's got and really, you know, try and, try and see what we can do with it, so we Snapper's a Kiwi company as well, it right? It is, yeah. And is that based on, on phone or do you have to have a Snapper card? What's the well, situation? at the moment it's a, it's a card. Uh, but so they're I don't trialing. Want another card. No, you don't I've need another card, cards. do you? But they're trialing with two degrees this thing that it's embedded in your phone. Okay. So as long as your phone's with two degrees and you've got the right type of phone, uh, you can take part in the trial and give it a go. Would you do it, Paul, or would you worry someone's going to take your phone? I no. I uh, having used my credit card and having worked in restaurants as a teenager, I would be quite happy to have it in my phone and just have a thin wallet for a change. It wouldn't do my back in every time I sit down. That'd be quite nice. That's probably because it's full of money in your case. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Paul. Thank you. Uh, if you have any questions for Paul, you can catch him on our Facebook page right after the show. Stick around.